Okay, YouTube, how are you today? Not too bad myself. 816. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, talk about, uh, let me see. Oh, this guitar was picked up. It's a Squire Bullet Strat by Fender. Made in Indonesia. So, it's not the real thing, but you know what? it's really light. Uh, it's the two single and one humbucker. I know, it's, it looks a lot better if I had a better set camera, but I'm going to be working on it at some point. But you got to start small. Uh, standard tremolo. I have a uh, set. Float just right. Rosewood. The neck is very, very smooth. Uh, the tuning pegs there are right, but when you buy it at a place, they sort of want you to buy new tuning pegs because they tell you that these don't last long, but it's not a necessity unless you're playing gigs and whatnot. But I'm just doing this for fun. Uh, I always tune my guitars with the Korg tuner. It's really nice, cheap. Uh, does a very good job. Simple to use. Acoustics, whatever. Anything you need. It works very well. And it's cheap. Amp that I'm gonna show you on is a Wine 6 15 watt. It's a good little amp, cost me 50, like I said earlier in the video. It's, it's, it's pretty good. We got it for your MP3 headphones, blah blah blah, and whatnot. But uh, this guitar cost me 90. So I had a gift card, and, uh, you know, some good reviews, some bad reviews, but I had, came with nines, I put eights on it, because I like eights, a lot of my guitars have nines, and my other guitar is ten, but as long as you're not shredding and tearing shit up, it, you, know, you won't break the string. Uh, sound quality is better, I think, Ernie Balls. Uh... So, I'll give you a little rundown on the sound. I don't know how it's going to sound with this recording. But, uh... Right, there's no foot pedals hooked up on it. So, uh, like I said, you got... I'll just show you, zoom in on it. Right, you got your master volume. You got your tape echo, reverb, sweep. Got your phaser, tremolo, chorus flange, channel control. Then you got all these settings: clean, crunch, metal, and insane, which I like. It makes a nice sound. You know, you got your overdrive and whatnot. So it's a pretty good sounding amp for what you need. It's light; you can take it anywhere you need it to go. Uh, like I said, when you turn it on, the lights will flash. You just gotta adjust the knob. That's what you want. You hold that down, it will slow down whatever you need. And that's for the insane. You got your clean, your crunch, your metal, and your insane. So, I'll start out with uh, the metal. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, the clean, so you can hear what it sounds like with this guitar. Uh. <clears throat> and my pick. There you go. <sighs> sorry about that.
it's on the humbucker for a single coil. Because I just came back from being outside, so my hands are a little stiff.
called out here on Long Island. Uh, so that's it. I mean, once I'm warmed up a little bit better, not a Satriani or anything like that, but it's a good guitar just to fool around with, and uh, I really don't care what other people think about this particular guitar. It sounds really good. So, uh, yeah, it's not bad for the price. Who cares? I like it. You know what? Even if it gets beat up and whatnot, it's still a good guitar. So, <clears throat> I'm not too concerned with that. And, uh, what else we got? Uh, this, as I mentioned in an early video that nobody probably watched anyway, so no big deal, was uh, a Cameo. Uh, cameo Deluxe. The West Pole copy. It did replace uh, tuning knobs, like I said. They just crap and wouldn't hold tone for nothing. Toggle switch, have a place. The other one just was falling apart, did nothing. I took everything apart, gave it a little wet sand, nothing crazy. Polishing compound, turtle wax to get some of the stuff out. Uh, clean this up. I still got this being ordered. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail, the new bridge and, bridge and tail piece. Pickups I put in, believe it or not, Amazon, 12 bucks for two pickups. Yeah, not the best, but I wasn't spending a lot of money <coughs> on this at this moment. I still have to hook up the switches, a kill switch and a tap switch. Uh, all new pots, all new hardware. Uh, you know what? It was free. I saved this from going into the garbage. Whether some people will say it should have went into the garbage, but you know what? <clears throat> almost, I'm going to be almost 50. And this guitar is older than me. So... between the heat and the cold uh, over here let's we'll see how the tuning is Shuts off by itself too. If you don't, if you forget to shut it off, it does it all by itself. <coughs> uh, let's see. Hopefully, I'm not going to get it.
that sucker. <laughs> six years ago and a friend of mine just started talking about it and I just sort of missed it so I'm trying to get back into the loops of things that's why I'm not that good anymore but, and I'm still uh, working on finger exercises and whatnot but other than that I've got a cute little butterfly in there too so it's not a big guitar, I like it. And like I said, it was free. So, <clears throat> other than that, I'll do another video because obviously I got some other guitars that I can show you. I'm not doing a good job of that, but. Some other ones that I can play with. 
on that part. And, you know, like I showed you before. Thanks for watching, and if you have any good comments, post them. If you have any bad comments, yeah, have fun. Thank you. Talk to you soon.